Well, chemical major Monsanto's legal troubles continue. A U.S. court has ordered the company to pay a whopping $857 million to a group of seven ex-students and parent volunteers at a school in Washington state. They had claimed that the company's chemicals made them sick. Some even suffered from brain damage and autoimmune disorders. However, Monsanto said it would appeal against the verdicts and reduce, quote-unquote, the excessive damages awarded to the group of seven. PCBs, the chemical under the scanner, were banned in 1979 due to their toxicity. They were commonly used for construction of buildings from the 1950s to the 1970s. PCBs are called forever chemicals. That's because they break down slowly and remain in the environment for a long time. That's why schools built in the 1970s continue to complain against the chemical. The latest verdict comes as Monsanto faces thousands of lawsuits over its weed-killing chemical Roundup. Last month, the company was ordered to pay $332 million to a man who said Roundup caused his cancer. Monsanto is also facing other lawsuits over PCBs, including one from the state of Vermont. Now, Vermont administration alleges the company knew PCBs were toxic and could harm humans.